Mr. Speaker, thanks to recent media coverage, Canadians are finally talking about the horrific levels of racism faced by Indigenous peoples in cities like Winnipeg and elsewhere. From health care to police protection to employment and education, Indigenous people are too often treated as second-class citizens. And that treatment as second-class citizens often has a direct correlation with government policy put forward by this federal government. So the question is, instead of being part of the problem, Will the Minister of Aboriginal Affairs commit to working with Indigenous communities and with Canadians to put an end to the racism that Indigenous people in Canada face? Uh, Mr. Speaker, our government believes that uh, Aboriginal peoples uh, should have the same quality of life, the same opportunities and the same choices as all other Canadians. And that's why we continue to work and take concrete action on, on priorities we share with First Nations, with Aboriginals, such as economic development, such as good governance skills, training, and advancing treaty, uh, treaty negotiations and reconciliation. And we will continue in that vein, Mr. Speaker.